during Father's Day, si Dr. Jose Rizal po ay amarin. Siya kay, kay Josephine Blanco, sila ay nag-anak ng lalaki, si Francisco. Si Dr. Jose Rizal po ang father ng ating pinangbayang Pilipinas. Si Dr. Jose Rizal po ay ginahamon tayong lahat upang magbigay buhay sa kanyang mga nitong aral. Ang umuna sa nitong aral po niya ay ang takilang pagmamahal sa inang bayan at sa lahat ng mga kapwa natin po Nanguna po sa sinag na itong pintong aral ay ang celebrate the birthday of Dr. Jose Rizal, which is June 19, 1861. And we are here once again, as we do every year, to pay tribute to his heroism, to his uh, good deeds, to his uh, noble ideas that inspired the Philippine Revolution. So uh, we're here to propagate uh, uh, his, um, his uh, ideals and ideas and to teach to the next generation of Filipinos, Filipino-Americans, and all the entire world that we have a great man who is what I call a quintessential Filipino. So, mabuhay po si Rizal. Sana ay atin siyang gayain para ang, para ang bansa natin ay umulad at magkaroon ng kapayapaan, magkaroon ng pagkakaisa. Salamat po. Salamat, uh, Consul General. Uh, Generoso Kalonhe, and this is Joseph Gelarios of the Journal Global Links. Thank you. Thank you. Let's take out. Oh. What are the next activities uh, that uh, you think uh, is the more fitting uh, um, activity to be dedicated to the birth of the What should Filipinos say? Ang... Ang nasa puso at biwa po ni Dr. Jose Rizal ay hindi, hindi para magtamo ng, uh, ng mga bagay na uh, kinikilala siya na tanging para sa kanya. Hindi para tanging sa mga bayan at sa kapwa ng Pilipinas. Ito po ang kanya hinanay. Sa palagay niyo po ba, very relevant pa si Jose Rizal? <laughs> Opo, bagamat uh, uh, siya uh, namuhay sa ibang panahon, ang kanyang kung mga dakilang gintong aral ay walang kamatayan. Okay. Lalo na po ngayon, kailangan nating uh, matutuhan ang, uh, ang uh, pagmamahal, hindi lang sa ating pinangbayan, at sa kapwa Pilipino na na nilikha sa diwa ng ating uh, uh, Panginoon. Okay. 
Please identify yourself and uh, what is your profession? Oh, hi, I'm uh, Ed Lopez. Um, I'm the son of Dr. Ramon G. Lopez and the great great grand nephew of uh, Jose Rizal. Uh, I'm a third year law student and uh, will be starting uh, my legal career as an attorney um, next year. Okay. So, uh, have, have you been to the Philippines? I've been to the Philippines three times, uh -huh. uh, twice when I was uh, just a little totoy, uh, okay. and then uh, most recently about seven years ago, my first time as an adult. All three times, uh, nothing but great memories, and uh, I look forward to going back to the Philippines to visit all my relatives and the, you know, the beautiful country uh, that my family, my ancestors all came, come from. So, uh, What particular qualities or characters uh, you you get inspiration from Jose, Dr. Jose Rizal? Well, I think first of all, his integrity is, is the most important thing. He never compromised his principles. He always stood up for what he uh, believed was right, uh, which took a lot of courage, um, a lot of uh, perseverance, and uh, it takes a special individual to, to do what he did. Um, I think uh, I admire uh, that he was one of the pioneers of uh, nonviolence uh, in response to uh, it's a response to su uh, suppressive government. Um, and I think that today's uh, current leaders internationally, and domestically uh, could all follow uh, our Lola Jose's uh, example and you know if, if maybe his story got around a little bit more to uh, our, our international community the world just might be a little bit better place uh, where are you were you born here in in the United yes, States I was born uh, here in the Chicago area uh, my brother, older brother, younger sister, and I um, we were born here. Um, but like I said, uh, you know, we have strong roots to the Philippines. Our parents always made sure that we uh, knew our culture, uh, made sure that we were proud of where we came from, and made sure that we were able to experience uh, growing up, uh, you know, the great qualities that the country has to offer. And uh, do you plan to be a dual citizen, Philippine? I do actually. Ameri American yes. citizen. Okay. I, I would. My father's a dual citizen, and I hope to follow in his footsteps. Uh, get uh, you know uh, dual citizenship so that I can vote in the Filipino elections. Okay. So. Thank thank you very much. As we continue our commemoration and celebration, be with us in our beach and bless every activity and may every way be doing it uh, according to you. with this we pray in my name. Amen. Amen. Sir Raul uh, Fermin has been taken uh, down with all this stress being given to him. And uh, if you want to know the, the, the details, I'll just give them <laughs> later. Uh, he was in the portland of the Disability of the uh, Center. I think he got so exhausted that he got sick. Yeah, He's right. the head of the Chicago chapter, commander. Um, and these things are really weighing on the project over there. So, excuse me. We finally had. He has to travel far and wide to join us today to represent the Pagitan chapter of Peoria. Uh, let's give a big hand to uh, Sir Alan Kapati, Secretary of the SA, and of course, Sir Alan Kapati. Is it previous now since he passed on? Okay.
three years uh, ago at a celebration uh, in Aichi Pizal, and like this one, it is our center of that. And Sir Van Gallardo went out of the box, so to speak. I said, I have a, a small part to share in the, in the program. And he walked the farm and recited three verses of uh, the Ultimo Adjustment, the original language of the Spanish. So some of us, including myself, are having a light of it because Ultimo Adjust is usually recited on December 30th, not on the day of the uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, in, in Filipino, I. Uh, I kind of joke, hey, man, how are you saying goodbye? I say, goodbye. And you know what? The next day, I received a, a call from Sir Felix Gonzalez. I uh, think he went down, called him. He said, uh, this morning, uh, uh, our brother and I kind of uh, passed on in his sleep. We remember our brother? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, don't criticize the music. <laughs> <laughs> we do have the lady. Uh, Mary is also a widow of uh, a nice of his son who is three. And in her generosity, I donated uh, uh, $2,000 in his uh, memory. That was right after we lost the bus of Rizal at Rizal Center after the celebration of the Black Hawks uh, uh, yeah, two years ago. So she gave them 2000 but uh, I know very well that uh, the owner of uh, Secret City gave one bus and then uh, the, the, the thief who took the bus uh, was taken by his conscience without the bus. But, uh, uh, I was asking Lady <laughs> Lady Nell, what happened to you to Chowson? <laughs> but I hope it will be put to a good use in that center. Another reason why we should take back that center. <laughs> okay. Um, any, uh, uh, oh yeah, I would like to acknowledge that and have her say uh, some words. Uh, our uh, head of the uh, Lady Sponsor, Lady Carmen Estacio.
celebrating the birthday, which is today's event, and the death of our national hero, Jose Luisa. Okay, the ladies, Luisa, expressed the ideals and beliefs of Dr. Jose Luisa by holding lectures and symposia, donating books, awarding prizes to the most outstanding and showing documentaries about national heroes. Davis Polisar celebrates the Christmas party with the seniors and receiving the Christmas gifts, provides lunch and entertainment for the last three years at the Filipino American Center for Seniors, which is FEC. <coughs> and it just we need to stop because we need, that's what he said, that we have to engage FEC that is our second home. Now, uh, without further ado, I would like to introduce to you the ladies for the summer here today. Miss Gloria T. Pedro, ilalang mo? Sabi si Pedro, 
Sir, hindi ko po kilala. Abot ikaw, ang kilala mo? Sir, hindi ko po kilala. Baka sa kabilang section po yun. Malaya chapter has been also branched out of Sir Anong Santos. And we also close some, but some, as you may have heard, some members are not here with us. Sir Van Gagardo is very active in our in our chapter. He's very, very active, I should say. So right now we are revitalizing the the chapter. I'm as of today, we're going to induct two new members for Malaya chapter, and also let me. Recognize the Malaya chapter members who are here today, Sir Ed Ramos. Sir Ed Ramos. Sir Ed Ramos. Okay, he was here earlier. He's a village trustee of Morton Road. Sir Jun Digia. He's very active too. Thank you. I got some good reports. It's really uh, <coughs> nice, uh, a great one. Okay. Uh, Sir Ray Ilazige. Sir Ray? Yeah. <laughs> Although they 
and I'm bidding for some reason. There are about nine of them who are lifetime members, so for their non activities, you and qualities, they should also be existing, although they should really be motivated to be active to joining us in the celebration and, uh, and also learning about the result. That's our caterer. <laughs> okay, now we move on to the, say, the most vibrant uh, chapter in our Central USA. Let's hear as uh, this valedictory address, uh, Sir Consul General uh, and also Colombia for the Good morning once again, ladies and gentlemen. Um, well, thank you for uh, coming in course here because normally if you move an event to another place, there will be strugglers who no longer will join the new place because, you know, I just think it's about rights. But I think practically all who will have, except for the one that will be up with us today. Um, our report is quite uh, extensive, but we will last the whole day. I think I, uh, Report, but I, uh, normally, um, a, uh, a person doesn't uh, quit his successes unless you know, uh, it's necessary. But since I consider us a fraternal motivator and with a sorority as well, I think I can uh, put my horn in this particular way. Anyway, yes. anyway it's related to Dr. Rosenza. First, uh, number one achievement we, we have is that we were successful in nominating Dr. Janet Castro to receive the Lieutenant Governor Award of Missouri. Mm -hmm. I think that's a heavy success because uh, Filipino was recognized uh, in his profession and for his contribution uh, to the citizens. So, uh, I think it's a social pride that uh, to elevate one of us mm -hmm. to prominence in the state. For membership, uh, I'm very proud to say that uh, we are now 15 in all, uh, 8 from the consulate and uh, 7 from, uh, from the uh, outside consulate who have uh, their own fields of prominence outside <coughs> in, in their professions. And some of the members of the consulate are, are here. Uh, there are two who are not, Mel Lalunio, who was our MC this morning, and Mr. Rosales, who is in lead. But the rest, I think, are here. Can you rise? Uh, I just remember you did a big hand. Yeah, and I think 
Are you with us, right? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, he is uh, history buff. Uh, but Ed, can I tell the group uh, something about you? You know, Ed is so uh, skillful in what he does in the an investigator in the U.S. Army that he was called from retirement. Uh, imagine that. So let's give him a big hand. <laughs> How are you still in service? Are you still in uniform? Oh, in September. Yeah, okay. So, imagine the retirement island. Mm -hmm. Well, some of us, especially in the Philippine bureaucracy, we didn't go to retire. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a guy coming from Damascus, Syria. I knew his staff of mine. And uh, I am convinced to join the rest of his staff. His name is Cesar Balarban. He is in a, a crisis in Aiden uh, place, but I think uh, he wants to join us. Okay, I mentioned uh, during our flag uh, uh, this monument that we have joined the uh, July Regional Conference in New Jersey. And, uh, we're sorry that we're not able to send the representative members here that. Um, the Knights of Bissau uh, does not consider uh, citizenship, Filipino citizenship, as a requirement. We have many members from many countries, and uh, I would say, uh, as I've seen it in uh, Austria, in the Germany, in France, other parts of Europe, that uh, at least theoretically, on, on paper, or, or the way they uh, study the life and work of Bissau, mm. They are more serious because they, they write uh, papers, they present papers in their meetings about the So, uh, academically, I should say, uh, they, they, uh, they have a greater leaning towards uh, studying in depth uh, what Pizal did, what he didn't, what he was supposed to have done. And there are also critics uh, in, in their studies about Pizal. One of them is. Uh, uh, my Spanish, I don't know if he was a member, but he told me that Rizal should not be considered a hero because he wanted to be, the, he wanted the Philippines to be incorporated this <coughs> week. Uh, but uh, many uh, uh, leaders, early leaders of any uh, movement um, are, are sometimes like that because uh, imagine the think of the, the motto of the, of the U.S. Revolution, taxation without representation. So if they were represented in the uh, British Parliament, I'm sure they would not have been there. So, they don't think. so having said that, uh, thank you very much for this opportunity to serve. Uh, soon I will be turning over the, the command of the chapter to Mr. Israel. the statement that Chicago is the premier chapter now. Because there's another premier chapter now. I don't actually serve in the dog of what has behind the slot the actual summary of HCR makes the big highest degree. We have Sir Rudy Papalia, who used to be a uh, chapter commander. So, uh, we have uh, Sir uh, Clem uh, Manalis, KGOR, who used to be a uh, chapter commander. Uh, or we have another uh, elder in the, uh, in the uh, Chicago chapter, uh, Sir Bobby Bobila, uh, KGOR. So, uh, young and old are here, and uh, recently, uh, 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 
Of course, the generation gap uh, is just my day because uh, Filipinos have not, uh, and people are able to for ages to acknowledge the greatness of our national heroes. So, not that uh, the uh, uh, six years old if he was alive today. But he died uh, at a very young age of 35. I'm talking about the government of AIDS and nowhere am I here on this accomplishment. You know, in 35 years, we have gained greatness. But uh, we are not loser of that because we <coughs> are member of the Knights of Pizarre. His writings, his ideas uh, for us to divide and to uh, share with others, okay? But uh, continuing on, you know, we are uh, about uh, 14 minutes away because I was told somebody else should use this. Uh, I'm sorry, we used to have no English in the Keep talking out, otherwise <laughs> it's easier to set Now we are being last in, in our event and before we take our sweet time in uh, celebrating the birthday of the sun and the sun center. And uh, in about 40 minutes, we should be uh, packing up and cleaning up. Okay. So we'll be upgrading some of our program at this point. It's a good time to proceed to the next portion. Did I miss anyone uh, for the state of the chapters and area report? I think we're good on that. We'll also kind of skip the functional presentation. The one who's going to keep the dance about me is also missing in action. <laughs> Okay, it's a very tough uh, uh, time. This is the first time we have to sit waiting for the morning. And this is a working day. You know, some uh, cannot just get a day off from the work. This is not a holiday in the United States. So uh, it's a big challenge. You know. Now, uh, we are supposed to do some nomination. You see, the Knights of Result has three degrees. You start as a KR, then you become a KOR, then if uh, the third degree usually when you become a chapter of one area of one can become a KCR just like, like myself and then uh, you become a KGOR and then the highest one KGCR which is uh, the only one in this uh, survey below. But there are also three service awards that uh, they distribute and they are also very popular about us. You see when you are a knight of this art you are expected to do services to the community and to the propagation of the, uh, the results ideas. So at this point, we would like to acknowledge uh, people, and we are not going to the process of distributing those because there is an elaborate uh, uh, ceremony for that. But uh, hopefully, by before the end of the year, we can do the proper honoring. But these are the names that are being nominated, and as I uh, call them, uh, can we uh, just uh, stand up and uh, to be acknowledged? Okay, uh, by the way, Sir Jerry Chrysostomo, who is an old member of the, uh, of the founding member of the, <laughs> of the, uh, of the Chicago chapter, he has done a lot of services, especially among the seniors. You know. At the age of 80, he was very active, teaching world room dancing to seniors to keep them healthy. And he founded at the age of 78 the uh, Lions Club, the Sarisal chapter. They are that guy. Mention that because the Lions International is going to have their international conference next month here in Chicago, and they are among the host. But Jerry Chrysostomo is a chronic hospital by now, that is called by his wife. Uh, and uh, he cannot join us because he was. Was going to call it. So, including also on the prayer. As you can see, we have some issues here. You know. <laughs> we, don't, we, we recruit young people fast, otherwise, we have a problem. <laughs> 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 okay, well, anyway, Sir Jerry, the source of his Chicago chapter, is a nominee for service award. And uh, I'll just uh, move on. There's another gentleman here who has to go. And, also to go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Our honor, uh, he is an honorary member of this Chicago chapter. And in fact, if you've been to the Center, 
the room that has the uh, bust of this altar and some painting about this altar is called Pasiano Room. That is uh, named after this great, great uh, uncle. Grandfather, great grandfather, Pasiano de Sal, the only mother of uh, our hero. In fact, a great mother, because he did a lot of sacrifices for the sake of his younger father. Did you know that? that uh, he has uh, sent money to the Sal. He was the one uh, kind of stepped back to see that a great uh, younger mother would be great, you know? And in fact, the reason why they are the son and they are not the father, which is the official family name of the son, is because Pasiano was involved in the uh, case of uh, Padre Giuseppe Ross, and uh, he became a persona non grata when uh, the three priests were uh, executed by the Lord in 1872. And uh, to hide uh, the fact that he's a Mercado, they suggested they start using the last name Rizal. That's the story behind it. Spaciano is all behind the name Rizal. Let's just remember that. Let me call Dr. Momondovas. Just stand with Dr. Momondovas. He's a worthy uh, descendant of our national hero because he went far and wide giving excellent essays about our national hero, giving lectures. The last one was at Toyota University, being held by young students at Toyota University as a ready to June 8th. Yes, and Dr. Ramon Lopez, I would like to add, has been so generous, he's a very philanthropic because he has given a lot of uh, things to our uh, other teachers, uh, provide the teachers, whether it's an issue or free medical services. These are uh, a big uh, part of the Philippine Medical Association, uh, medical missions back then. He and his wife, uh, Martin, they are lady Their uh, great, 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 Society like uh, uh, Edward Bottenell, uh, and uh, but he will be remembered. He has given his sterling signature as the mind behind a very successful fiesta in all. The world of the world of the world of the world of the is he not deserving of a service of what service he is? Yes. I would like to add one. She's a future lady of his art. I would like to introduce you this lady here, you know. Uh, she's, uh, she is a worker for disaster uh, prevention. And she has given two lectures at the council. You know, one to recite those uh, activities of uh, the Twice he was there teaching us how to prepare for uh, disasters like earthquakes, which is very, very important for Filipinos that we can share to Filipinos back home. She uh, the, the lady who's behind that is uh, Mrs. Gias here. I said to this, he's not yet a member of the Davis Board, so here is one that is a good record for your 
they discuss oh, yeah. mm -hmm. but we would like to consider you as a service owner because we would like the Knights of the Sun and Ladies for the Sun to embrace that uh, initiative because you know what everyone is saying the Philippines is ready for the big one mm -hmm. and I think we should take that for the and, uh, and since a resource person for that so let's remember that so anyway this man no means to this our time maybe uh could have been a very rich doctor when he left in 1890, 1892 Hong Kong he's, he's really towards become a world class uh, doctor of uh, medicine uh, uh, when from Paul de la Liga Philippines two days he was appointed to the people from there in this year and start he keep on helping the people there for four years and then we did rescue us here, but he continued uh, putting himself, uh, himself into harm's way against uh, the spirit of uh, this addition. And most of you, this art is living and keep it up, you know. So I would like to call now the last one because soon he will be uh, moving on to Manila because he has completed his six years of uh, uh, diplomatic uh, service abroad, that's the good EFA. He has to go home after six years. He was in Israel. He was in Washington, D.C. And then he was uh, made ambassador of the Philippines to Israel before he was assigned about uh, three years ago here in Chicago. So we never had him for six years, which would be the course in general. It will be uh, in three years that are not uh, finished by the former consul general. And in these three years, I have I've been always observed with the consulate general offices. In three years, he has done a lot. He made Chicago one of those number one in the United States in registered quarters for uh, rural citizens. That's a big thing, you know, because Filipinos uh, by now they don't register, they don't vote, you know. But uh, he was able to do some motivation to reverse that. Pakikita sa konsulado, uh, you know, I like going there because they are so rich. <laughs> no, but uh, kidding aside, he has some of the most relevant uh, topics uh, presented there to by the well-known people for their expertise, whether it's immigration, whether uh, human trafficking, or issues that are very important to the community here. And uh, he reached out. Uh, there are no weekends where he, either he or in Ipaniano, who didn't like being a pop of playing the mga, uh, even possible audition, but they are always there doing that. They are, they are doing for human citizenship or passing on the latest uh, initiative of the government to the grassroots. I can go on and on because it's 11.30, but I would like to go back uh, also in general. He is going to be, whether it, by the time that we're going to do this ceremony, he is back in Manila at the foreign office there. But at this point, you know, I don't know if you give me a plane ticket, I'll come back. But I'll do a big thing, I'll nice of EVA. 
But, uh, you know, uh, hindi na na siguro yung mga dami na yung mga certificate ang mga dami na. Nakapun to. Iniisip ko, kaya ang pinakumukuti. Ah, sabi ko, ang diplomatic uh, form naman ka rin sila, container na. <laughs> na pwede ipadala yung mga gabi nila. So at this point, uh, before anything else, before you give the response, you're supposed to give the response. At least, but you will do that in a while. Eh, hihilain ko na lang ito, kasi ito lang ang sigurpit ng pinakasinip. Anyway naman, hindi rin naman. Yung, uh, ano maalan ito, yung, yung, container ninyo, magkakalit ang mabigat kasi ito eh. For uh, being in Washington, D.C. And then, uh, you've been to Israel, uh, you've about Israel, about Israel.
These are all outstanding people, except me. They are very good. For Lopez, and, uh, yeah, we're all so happy, we're all so lucky that we have here the embodiment of uh, a, a, a living species of Rizal, which also has the same qualities, has the same profession, has the same feeling for the Filipino Our beloved council, our deputy consul general, our area commander, he has decided to cancel it because we did not have the ritual. The ritual given to me by Sir Anum did not have the rituals of the bed. And besides, uh, the rituals were supposed to be given to us by Sir Felix, but Sir Felix was hospitalized. So we have decided to cancel the ceremony. But I would be very willing to come to the consulate to elevate the Deputy Consul General and all those nights that are supposed to be initiated. Also, once a night, always a night. So there's no need for our Forever. brother night to be uh, knighted again. And also, I do not have the sword to dab the night. <laughs> <laughs> so I am also be sorry. I cannot I cannot do the nighting without my sword. So I'm sorry. Videography, video editing and reporting with Marlon L. Pexon. This is Joseph Gelariosa of the journal Global Links in Chicago, Illinois.